I, I just learned that in order for someone to go live on YouTube, they have to have more than 1,000 subscribers. So that's not the case. I'm gonna clean my camera. <laughs> I do not meet the requirements. But what I was intending to to do to share today, it's my art, it's the art side of me, and so I will start painting live, and uh, we'll see how this goes. It's it's a it's a test. I'm gonna show you. So my painting technique I'm known for was invented in. 2011 January February March April May June June 2011 when I wanted to create a character as fast as possible so I just cut out two pieces of eyes a mouth and I made it happen and so uh, today I'm gonna recreate that piece of art that was done in 2011 welcome to my studio I am in my art mood, so here we go. Let's give this a shot. About 10 minutes. Join me. Here, I'm just gonna make sure the camera is placed so you can see what I'm doing. Woohoo! Okay, by the way, this is a great activity that you can do with kids if you have at home. So, over the years I've collect collected mouths and eyes from different magazines and these are the ones that I have selected to recreate the cat. So, I'm gonna pour out um, the paint. Here, you'll be able to see my process. So, I mix basics with this brand real tech I think that's what I have most of the time and uh, let's begin okay Blue. let me make sure you can see most of what I'm doing here okay Let's have some fun. I need something a bit darker. So I'm going to use some purple. You will not believe how I'm going to recreate that cat. Let's make it darker. I probably need some dark blue. Welcome to my studio. I'm playing with the idea of what I would do if this goes on more than two weeks. What would you do? I bet it, that thought has crossed your mind. What would you do more than two weeks if the universe was handing out some gifts, wishes, anything, anything you wanted. If you could ask for one thing right now, what would that be? What would your ideal day look like? Your perfect day? What would your perfect job look like? Again, the question is, if the universe was handing free gifts, what would you ask for? Because you know what's happened is, we've all been forced out of our routines. And uh, it's a complete stop. An absolute and complete stop to everything that we have been doing the same for many 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 years there must be a message there 
my brother, author of uh, Slight of Mind, just want to make sure this is still, yeah, sorry for the vibration, I'm just learning how to do this, haha. <laughs> Uh, my brother, author of A Slight of Mind, recently shared that maybe we are forced to stay at home. Home, metaphorically meaning our hearts inside, to evaluate if we are okay, if everything is okay in there. I have such admiration for my little brother. He recently... No, not recently. That was November. He published his book, Slide of Mind. Rodrigo Diaz Mercado. You can probably find him on my friends. There's information about what he's doing, what he's teaching there. And uh, he has some beautiful insights as to what's been going on, great questions we all can ask ourselves about who we are, why are we here, why is this happening, okay, matte medium, I use these as glue, and I use it uh, very carefully, not a lot, because it tends to wrinkle object, uh, you know, pieces of paper, I use it to glue the eyes. The eyes on the mouth, in my rocks, in my paintings. Remember, my goal is to recreate that black cat. The first time I ever used eyes. Eyes and mouths that were cutouts from magazines. Yeah, make sure it's dry. I'm gonna tag when I'm done. I'm gonna tag some people that I think would have an amazing time doing this with their kids. Just cut out some magazines. You can you can use a glue stick or any type of glue. By the way, I just simply like this because I have it handy. <laughs> Gotta make stuff easy sometimes. And with this one, you gotta just hold it a bit, maybe with some other types of glues as well. Oops, sorry. Sorry, you're vibrating. I'm honestly giving myself the chance to try this out via online. You know, my job is my work. I most commonly know for my work as a personal trainer and I've realized after a week home that I, even though I'm an introvert, I'm an introvert who likes to be alone, surrounded by others in, in big spaces. And of course this has proven to be an adjustment, but it's also getting me to do something that I hadn't done in years and another thing that is a passion of mine which is art but i do miss my one-on-one -on -one clients i also uh as of last year started working as a master practitioner neuro linguistic programming coach and guiding people in getting to know their minds at the conscious subconscious and unconscious level it's quite the journey, let me tell you. All right. With my weight. Woo! Okay, this is gonna... Ah, <laughs> gesso. You can use white paint or gesso. Yes! Oh my god, this is hard to open. I haven't opened it in like a year. Ah! Uh, ah! I need my husband. So sometimes when this is it gets very, very, very sticky, I just hit it. And if I can't open it, I bought a new bottle. Let's see. Wow. 
Ow. Ah. Nope. Brett, I'm gonna have to use my new gesso. And I will get Omar to help me out later on. So, it is. Oh, there's nothing like fresh paint being opened. I really, so, woo, perfect. Okay, let's put this on the side for a moment. Wow, I have new admiration for people that do this. Online streaming. Okay, so, my cat seems to be a little skew based on the original. You'll see it later. Okay. This is going to be sketchier. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I really have to hand it to the brave souls that have been doing the business of streaming live for a while. This is not as easy as I thought. I am glad I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone. Definitely is outside of my comfort zone. I have been battling on the online world for a while. I I never thought that <laughs> the need to make a transition online was going to be definite. Again, I don't know how long we don't know how long this is going to last. And just got to make sure I'm prepared if need be. Okay, how's my cat looking? See, it's not as hard <laughs> to make a cat. I'm not talking about the other stuff. I don't know, obviously, this experience is unique for everybody. But making a cat can be very easy and a lot of fun. So, let's check it out. All I did was pasted a set of eyes. And we started with the background color. Let's add some of that here. Wood. There are no mistakes in painting. Well, yeah, but you know what? When it's acrylic, you can paint on top of them. So taking this experience to learn how to be open and change how to change with the scenery how to experience how to create new ways of being, new ways of doing, new ways of reinventing ourselves. Okay. The thing with painting is you can work as many layers as you can, as you want to. Yeah, the thing with acrylics is you can always paint on top. You can erase, you can expand. You can change. You can define, you can redefine. You know, it's been 
probably over a year since I last cleaned it. Oh, these piece I'm gonna switch to other brush types. Okay, how's that looking? I'm going to show you the original version now. Um, again, the goal was to recreate a piece that was done in 2011. <laughs> First time I ever used that technique. Welcome to my studio. So this is what it currently looks like. As you saw, that was very easy. And this is the same technique that I used to paint my little friends over here. All of this. Okay, well. Uh, let me see, rotate camera. I am going to continue this little journey on my own and I will soon be posting the before and after. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to turn on my camera again tomorrow. Well, you know, I'm always sharing weird stuff, movement or thoughts or, or art and uh, let's see where this goes. I hope wherever you are and whatever you are doing that you are looking at this experience as a way to reinvent yourself, as a way to get to know yourself and to spend time with your loved ones. And I wish with all my heart that you are okay. I will see you soon.